Let me give you a little tour of the West End neighborhood where we stayed near downtown Vancouver. Our street had this modal filter on it, which is an effective traffic calming strategy. There were these sort of mini parks, which are super cute. There were these gorgeous streets, and also multiple bike share stations within a five minute walk. This was a really vibrant area with dozens of local businesses within a five minute walk of our front door. There were tons of great looking Asian restaurants around here. This place was styled like a Japanese convenience store or konbini, which are absolutely everywhere in Japan. So many cool drinks. This is what density and mixed use zoning give you. Everything you need and much more within walking distance. This area, which I showed in my other video about Stanley Park, was pedestrianized within the last few months and is obviously already much beloved and well used. This is what it used to look like. That's what we call progress. For this trip, we're heading over to Richmond, a city near Vancouver that's over 50% Chinese. I'm half Chinese myself, and I love visiting Asian enclaves in any city. Notice how the bike lane is clearly marked around the driveways. This is great, but even better would be a raised bike path which would act as a speed bump. Kind of like a continuous sidewalk, which Not Just Bikes has a great video about. This is Robson Square. Had to climb this thing. Loved this. So here we've got a scooter, like five trolley buses, tons of people walking, and a bike share station right behind me. This transit station has dozens of bus stops within walking distance of it, and it also has a bike share station and a patio right next to it. It's pretty cool. Well, I've got As I've pointed out in all my other videos about Vancouver, there was a serious lack of seating at all the Vancouver metro stations that we saw. I'll never get over how cool it is to be riding through a tunnel and pulling up to one of these stations like this. The next station is Marine Drive. Uh-oh, that traffic's not a good sign. This is the Fraser River. Shout out to all my train lovers out there. Y'all are in for a treat here. The size of the parkade at this casino is unbelievable. As you'll see, Richmond is definitely a very car-centric part of town. This train. Just parking lots. It just goes on like this, for kind of dystopian. Zero. 
We came to this mall because my partner wanted to go to this Japanese clothing store called Uniqlo. Whenever I come to a place that's this car-centric, I can't help but think how what's happening here hurts everyone. It's bad for people who drive, bad for pedestrians, bad for cyclists, and NASA stated that automobiles are the largest net contributor of climate change pollution in the world. So much drama with cars. It's okay. Go ahead. You're good. You can see they added a pedestrian signal here because there's so much traffic here that they felt it had to be signalized. Yet another way in which drivers are prioritized over pedestrians. Yep, we're still here. Hey, wait. That's my partner preventing me from getting run over. So, we spent several minutes waiting to cross that driveway. Now we need to cross this road. It took us about three minutes to get through all of that, which really should have taken about 30 seconds if the street was designed properly with pedestrian priority. If you run out of fare on your transit card in Winnipeg, it's easy to end up in a situation where there's no way to conveniently refill your card, which can leave you stranded somewhere. Having these fare machines at every station is really important. Ooh, our train's here. Better run. Not gonna lie, I love these shots. This train is for Waterfront. This is the bus station and mixed-use area I pointed out in my other video about taking transit from the airport in Vancouver. with the number of people rollerblading, scootering, biking, and using e-bikes as well. Where are we going? Old and new. A very Vancouver skyscraper. So, what did you think of Richmond? I was shocked to see this mix of transit-centered, mixed-use developments in this profoundly car-centric area. You would think with such a decent transit system right next to this mall, less people would drive there. But when you build huge parking lots and strodes, you induce demand to use them.